Our usual warm welcome to you all. Nice to have you with us. We're at Portsmouth, Fratton Park, a famous old football ground on the south coast of England. Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Premier League football is coming right up for you. It's Portsmouth against Norwich City. I think if we get a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. A side with a demoralised defence, they've led in so many goals, and they're up today against the team with the sharpest attack. Yeah, so many sloppy mistakes, avoidable ones from the hosts over the course of this season, so there might be some chances for the away team here. And here is the Portsmouth lineup for this game. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4 5 1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone frontman. Thank you. Here is the Norwich City team for you today. Sergio Romero plays in goal. Yerimina starts with Tyro Mings in defence and a partnership with these two strikers up front. Portsmouth have kicked off today and the game is underway. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. What a good interception. Now James. And he could get away here. In the clear in front of goal. An excellent chance. More than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there. And, uh... Oh, he's in the clear here. No flag. In with the chance. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Madison. McAnally, news of a goal from Molyneux, over to you. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Top work. A great chance to go in front. They're still in trouble here. Needed to be brave, but he was. Well, apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally there. Just to confirm that in their game, Wolverhampton Wanderers did score, and the score... Left the defenders trailing now, here's a chance. Are we going to get an upset here? Well, they've given themselves a chance by taking the lead. Well, this could go down as one of the biggest shocks. Can't believe it. Well, it's a fine individual counter-attack, isn't it? What a goal from him. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Well, not what he was looking for. The manager now looking less than pleased. Somebody's going to pay for that uh, goal they've just conceded. Portsmouth have the lead. Edin Dzeko. Not far away at all, but they're still behind. But they're well on top and they will be confident they'll get another chance at least. attack here surely he must score great reach and a great catch by the goalkeeper Semedo he's won it back easily it's a good hit good 
connection, just off target over the top. Well, that has flown off his foot. Yeah, listen to that, the crowd giving the ref a fair bit of stick. They were convinced that should have been a penalty a moment ago. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Keeper did well to read, and it's in! Equalising goal! This is certainly a poacher's effort, the way he's just latched onto it quickly, the way he's got there ahead of the defenders. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. So, away we go at one all. And he's got on the ball, it's brave really from him, but he's not shaking off that knock. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Now the cross has gone behind, it's a poor effort. Mina. Edin Dzeko. He's got some room out there. Edin Dzeko. Lingard. Now that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. At Goodison Park is Alan McAnally with goal news. It's a goal for West Ham United. 36 minutes played. 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Important touch from the defender there. They're coming in at the near post for the cross. They had a chance really to put that into a much more dangerous area. Has to go down as a poor cross. It's Jesse Lingard. Now James. And here he has got it in behind the defenders for the attack of the chase. Out in front of goal. Beautifully guided past the goalkeeper. Oh, I always used to love scoring these type of goals when you're there first. It feels good, this. A good look here, again, via the replay of the goal. No problems for Portsmouth having conceded that goal. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from three minutes. this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Now Evans. Going forward well. Simple stop from Sergio Romero. Well, that is half-time and we've reached it. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. The shot's on! Should be! It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Well, they managed... Not one from the textbook, that one, the booking, I think. He now has a yellow card. He's an important player, of course, with the goals he scores. And they won't want to lose him if he makes another disciplinary mistake. No, I mean, he's normally their go-to man when they need a goal. So, uh, he's on a bit of a tightrope. This is how they love to play on the break. Oh, great chance! Oh, it really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd. Really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser. Well, not surprisingly, those fans convinced it was a penalty. I'm not sure it was, though. Here's the chance, and the goalkeeper got across to it. Oh, listen to those fans, they're excited. They probably weren't expecting their team to get too many chances today, but this might be one of them. That's a decent header, but not quite good enough. Well, they've got to get tighter to him because he's a really good header of the ball. He showed it there. It's Jesse Lingard. Substitution that the home side want to make. Well, coming up for you on EA Sports, the next Premier League fixture for the hosts. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. 
Norwich City's next game, Alan? Well, they're playing Manchester United in the next match. And uh, I think this cup tie will be extremely tight. James Madison. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Let's get across to Goodison Park and Alan McInally. It's the second goal for West Ham United. 63 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Not a great tackle, I must say. Oh, yellow card, Alan. Yeah, quite right. Looking again, Alan, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Yeah, from this angle, you can see it's a foul. I don't think it was a malicious challenge, but he uh, doesn't get the ball. Ben Chilwell. Edin Dzeko. Madison. Promising forward play from them again. And here's a chance. The last line of defence, but how... Strong he was. It's a proper old-fashioned clearance there from the defender. They've got to do something here. They're taking off Edin Dzeko, who's certainly been an effective player to this point. He had an excellent game, and uh, he'll be so satisfied that he was able to get... Tries the shot. Proper defending, under some pressure. It will be their throw. Certainly Tottenham Hotspur, who will soon be moving into a new stadium to increase their revenue streams. They want to go there with a strong side, and they're trying to add to their strength here. Well, there's been so much talk, and so much talk of a transfer fee around £40 million, which sounds reasonable to me. Time will tell if that will do the job. A spot kick at Selhurst Park, Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Crystal Palace. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take. Really in the clear now. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Well, it's a fine individual counter-attack, isn't it? What a goal from him. Let's see the replay now. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scoreline. Counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. Impressive in possession. Passing's good, possibly dangerous. And the cross goes towards the far post. We've got some up-to-the-minute news from Alan McAnally from Selhurst Park. It's a goal for Manchester City. Seven minutes remain. 1-0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Wants to chop back. Goal. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. Well, this is rubbing salt in some pretty gaping wounds here. Well, they just won't let up, will they? They're going to go to the final whistle. Well, it's a tough game for the team that are trailing. They're out of the contest, really. They're just playing for pride there really been torn apart 88 minutes played here the referee has indicated there will be a minimum James. of three minutes of no time. chance he has come to the rescue this time read the intentions does he want to cross it now he could and the referee blows his whistle, the flag was up for offside. And it's come to an end now as the referee blows the whistle for the last time. Plenty of smiles at the final whistle and deserve it for the way that they've gone about their business here today. Yeah, just thought they used the ball better, showed more intelligence and 
certainly more incisive in front of goal. 